Hello gaming, my name is Nico Wells and today I'm going to be having a look at an open beta of a split screen shooter, but not in the way that you might think. It's called Screen Cheat. As the name might have already suggested, Screen Cheat is a game in which up to four players take up a section of the screen that all other players can see, old school style, and as such the game not only allows but actively encourages screen cheating. All players are invisible and only by looking at someone else's screen can you determine their position in order to kill them. The concept of this is brilliant. They've actually managed to take a limitation of the medium and turn it into a game mechanic. But how well is the concept executed? Well, let's have a look. The developers, Samurai Punk, had the right idea with so much of this game, and everything has a cohesive flow. Everything works together and feels like it's supposed to be there. For one, your ability to screen cheat is greatly aided by the level design. Structurally a typical free-for-all shooter map, but sectioned off into bright, identifiable colours and recognisable landmarks. You literally think to yourself, Ooh, he just went past that painting, I've got him now. In an additional aesthetic, your ragdolls which appear after you die are similarly coloured and hilariously topple over to celebrate your success, or utter failure. And they also hang around until the end of the match, leaving a wonderful rainbow of corpses. The weapons look and feel right, as they're zany and unpredictable, cooperating with the overall wacky atmosphere. There's only about four weapons thus far, but they're all well thought out, skillfully balanced and fun to use. There's a clever mechanic that stops you from constantly spamming the fire button. Visible traces. The melee weapon, the candelabra, emits a bright, non-invisible flame when swung. The long range revolver has a telltale trail from its bullets, the middle ground blunderbuss has a cloud and trail of smoke as you reload, and the grenade launcher's grenade is large, slow and obvious enough that you can usually figure out where it came from. Due to this, the gameplay is a wonderful mix of skill and absurd luck. This game definitely doesn't take itself seriously, and I love it for that. Another good title for a party. But even if you can't hang out in the same room, there is an online mode. We tested it out and it works all online, all on one computer, or a combination of both, which is annoyingly rare in multiplayer titles. In terms of controls, there is complete keyboard support, support for Xbox 360 type controllers, and allows you to add others with some configuration. Keyboard and mouse and controllers can play at the same time, but the usual shooter characteristic applies in that the mouse has a notable advantage. In this case, it could be a good way to even out the playing field if one person is particularly skilled or terrible. Screen Cheat has impressed me with its balance of fun and function. It has the potential to be a very addicting part game, or light-hearted fun for streaming, personality-focused events, or ice-breaking get-togethers, with the learning curve accessible to new players while providing nuance and nostalgia to old ones. With all of this said, there are a few concerns which may hinder its success in this endeavour. As mentioned before, Screen Cheat is in beta. There is more than a few bugs here and there, and much of the proposed content isn't there yet. There is only two maps, which feels somewhat limiting, but the full release is planning to have five, which still might be limiting. Well designed as they are, I feel the number of maps organised might not be enough to keep players interested for a long time. With two current game modes, Deathmatch and King of the Hill, and six proposed in the full game, it might be in the same boat. I suppose we'll just have to see. After all, it is in beta, and a free one at that. If you want to be a part of the fine tuning process, you can sign up at their website, Annotation on Screen, to get a free beta key for you and your three friends. Or you can pre-order at the current discounted price of $9.89 US to receive the same beta access and know that you've helped fund a project. I will warn people about pre-orders until the end of time, and essentially all of my criticisms and reservations apply only to the paid version. With free beta access, there's no reason to not have a look. If you want to have a good time with other people, gamers or not, you owe it to yourself to have a look at this free version and keep a hopeful eye on the game as it develops. Just don't play it alone, unless you're hilarious.